Hi guys, it is another ball busting, brutal <coughs> midsummer day here on Memorial Day weekend 2018. We are at Sunday, maybe it's uh, somewhere around May 27th, 2018, and for some reason that escapes me. I am getting, I'm planning to head to the outdoor. Doobie Brothers uh, Steely Dan concert out at the uh, Formula One track uh, down the street from Garfield, Texas today. So this, I might very well die of heat stroke today. So before I do die of heat stroke, just want to uh, do what I do every morning here on the last day of my life. Uh, and that's to dive in to uh, my Humpty Dumpty Tribe mailbag to see what's on the minds of alert listeners. I don't know, do I build up to Treebeard's comment or do I start with it? I'm going to start with it. You know, my buddy Treebeard up there in Canada, <clears throat> I have to say, brother, uh, of the, of the 5,000, where are we? Somewhere are 5,400 tribes members or whatever. Uh, Treebeard, brother, you, I think, as much as anyone I have ever met, obviously understand what I am doing with my life uh, here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. And you are, you are a scholar and a gentleman and this is one of the best comments that has ever been received on uh, Humpty Dumpty Tribe in my eight-year history. And I love you, brother. This was his response to, they will win, we shall lose. We have been conquered by ourselves. Take it away, Treebeard, and spell it out, brother. Amen. <clears throat> it never ceases to amaze me at the depths of human stupidity that the human perception of what life truly represents is so lost, utterly lost, is our ability to look at the big picture. What is so lost is to understand what is important whether it is your conduct of your own life, but more importantly, our conduct to the planet as a whole. This question has plagued me for many years. A man told me once while sitting around a fire while I was up in northern Canada, the most evil words ever written were, you shall have dominion over all life and go forth and multiply. As a man who had survived genocide of his people and is watching the real-time destruction of everything that he holds dear, felt that for all our advances, the human race is still two steps out of the trees. We cannot stop our predatory impulses. <clears throat> Nothing. Only do we kill each other, I'm sorry, not only do we kill each o other over nothing, but we attack each other viciously on a psychological level never seen before. Hiding behind a keyboard to spew stupidity and desire to make themselves feel better by pitting people against people. The fact that I was born when I was and living my life during this time of human history has not only sent me to the depths, but also to stand on the mountaintop to shout from the top of my lungs, bring it on, baby. I would rather die knowing. I would rather die knowing that the human race has been knocked off its pedestal and driven to extinction 
while the life that survives gets to pick up the pieces and evolve to the point where the next intelligent species understands what it is really like to exist in, ba in the balance of the planet. Yes, some humans have lived that way, but in the end it always seems that greed, power, religion, and just plain stupidity have eroded whatever gains were made in our evolution. What clever, murderous, vicious, little hairless apes we are. Does it really surprise anyone that whatever we touch, we tend to destroy? People really need to look at themselves in the mirror. Is this all that I am? Can I not be a better steward of my life and my surroundings? For all of our gains, we have lost so goddamn much. All of our gains. <clears throat> I have never been happier now than I have ever been in my life. Getting to witness an extinction level event, real time, it's not an asteroid, or a volcano, or a coronal mass ejection, or even a gamma ray burst from a distant massive star, but just plain stupidity that is the latest harbinger of death. But like death, the structure of the universe it is born out of tremendous violence of destruction and renewal. And yes, the human race is subject to the same laws as the rest of the universe. A fact that most humans do not care, do not believe, or even give a moment to contemplate. So live in the moment and show kindness is all of our fellow non-human earthlings that are dying in silence. We owe them that much, at least. Maybe give back something for which we have taken so much. We will not go out with a bang, but with a whipper. And in the end, we will get it. The truth. There you go, and Diana Jones weighing in, Tree Beard, you said it all. And I must say, Tree Beard did say it all. That, that is one of the great comments in the history of Humpty Dumpty Tribe, and it is one of the few things uh, that, that keeps me going, knowing that there are a tiny handful uh, of humans on this planet that understand what uh, I have devoted my life uh, to doing in my own weird little way. Thank you, Treebeard. Uh, I really hope uh, you and I can meet up this summer to sit around and smoke a fatty. Okay, but as long as we mention Diana Jones, Diana, she comes and goes, I'm sorry, Diane, she comes and goes. This was her response to uh, my video chronicling the collapse of South Austin, Texas. <clears throat> Take it away, Diane. The recommended videos next to your Austin tours are mostly about where to pig out in Austin. People seem more interested in stuffing themselves with food all the time and telling us how tender, hot, steamy and juicy it is, but not so interested in where it comes from, how it gets there, or where their hot, steamy poop and piss from all their gorging goes. Just flush it by that old poo-poo and move on to the next smorgasbord. As long as your crotch has been professionally waxed, 
it's all a-okay. I don't know how you can stand going to that putrid, waxed up hellhole. I would be vomiting and more all the time like an Ebola river right down the blazing hot, steamy, stinking street. And then you're going to some car race smorgasbord in 100 degree weather? Hambone, you are one glutton for punishment. Uh, as I say, uh, this, this one tonight, uh, Diane, might be the last thing now, but I do want to make it clear, I did not realize until yesterday where the concert was, where the Doobie Brothers and Steely Dan concert was. I, I had some crazy, I, I just didn't even ask my buddy when he got the tickets. I, I assumed it was in an air-conditioned theater. I, I obviously, if I had known what the fuck he was suggesting, uh, that we go to that goddamn hellhole, whether or not it's a hundred degrees. Uh, I, I would have said you're completely out of your clueless fucking mind, but, but now I've pissed away forty dollars on the ticket. Anyway, but I'm just going to wrap up these comments for the day. This is one of the, you know, I just talked about how Treebeard is one of the few people on this planet who really understands and appreciates what, uh, what I do with my life, but I have to close with this comment by this, uh, I guess it's a girl, Rebecca Snow. Rebecca, we never heard from Rebecca till today. Uh, this was her comment to me reading my resume. Uh, I found a copy of my resume uh, yesterday from the year 2000. Uh, and I just simply read my resume, and I think I named the title, Will the Real Hambone Little Tail Please Sit Down? And, and what I was doing by this uh, was just pointing out how completely, I, I mean, I, I was so fucking clueless uh, 18 years ago, it, it was really fucking hilarious. And, and the reason I, I posted this is just uh, basically to point out if that, if that clueless fucking moron, that guy Sam Mitchell, uh, could land here in the Doomosphere, then anybody can. But this was Rebecca Snow's uh, summation. I don't know whether she's talking about Hambone Little Tail or Sam Mitchell. Uh, I think she's talking about the, uh, the fictional character created by the performance artist Sam Mitchell, I think, is who she's talking about uh, here, but she just says he. So I really don't know. So I'm, I'm assuming Rebecca is talking about a fictional character on YouTube. Take it away, Rebecca. He is a dirty old man with a toilet for a mouth, who yells at his clueless, moron subscribers, perfect for hauling piss. Oh, I should have, uh, I, I, I forgot she brought this up. Uh, what she was referring to is, is this resume I read yesterday. It was the resume that got me hired to be a piss hauler for the world's biggest drug testing company, a job I held for five years, one of the greatest jobs of my life. So anyway, that's what she was, if, if you haven't heard my resume, uh, that's what she's referring to. Anyway, let's start over. Rebecca Snow. <coughs> he is a dirty old man with a toilet for a mouth who yells at his clueless moron subscribers perfect for hauling piss. That's Texas. Beers, steers, and angry, woman-hating queers. They call them tops because they like to shout down at you from the top. Uh, just so uh, Rebecca and anyone else understands, uh, I have had two beers in the year 2018. 
uh, I do not eat beef and her and, and whatever she's saying about angry woman hating queers I have been in Texas 15 years and I mean I don't hang around uh, ha angry woman hating queers so I have never met one I'm not saying they don't exist but I don't think Rebecca Snow has ever been in Texas uh, but anyway my response to Rebecca I am in love finally a woman who can appreciate the real Hambone Little Tail I would haul your piss any day darling <laughs> yes I would and oh and just a couple of other notes uh, there was all sorts of a comment thread mainly from bacteria man about the missing comments about how uh, the mystery of all of the missing comments the past couple of days well let me solve the mystery as if you guys are not aware of this uh, if any comment that ever includes the word chemtrail any variation of the word chemtrail in the comment I do not give a flying fuck which side of the chemtrail fence debate you're on even if I agree 100% with your comment about chemtrails or the myth of chemtrails I should say your comment will be deleted uh, the, the comments pages on, on Humpty Dumpty Tribe I have tolerated this horseshit for too long the comments pages on, on Humpty Dumpty Tribe will no longer be opened up as a debate forum for the idiocracy uh, this planet is going to hell in a handbasket as Treebeard was talking about and the most intelligent comment I might have ever received on here I want to raise the collective IQ uh, of this planet even if it means putting myself out there as a uh, as a fictional character dirty old man with a toilet for a mouth who yells at his clueless moron subscribers uh, how I choose to uh, to raise the intellectual level of this tribe by by making myself you know holding myself up as as a perfect example uh, of of the, the type of, of you know divide dividing asshole that uh, Treebeard's talking about. I am doing what I do so we can all hold the mirror up to ourselves for a little bit of self reflection. To, so we can all find the little bit of ham bone little tail in all of us and understand uh, what uh, Rebecca uh, understands. But I do not expect 99.9% uh, of uh, people stumbling across this channel to have any fucking clue what this channel is all about. Uh, but anyway, I will keep doing what I'm doing until the universe tells me to do something else. And since it is Sunday, what the universe is telling me to do is move on to my weekly doomsday sermon where I'm going to be reading an essay from, this fellow never heard of him, Donald Worcester, Shrinking the Earth, the Rise and Decline of American Abundance coming up in one minute. Bye guys.